Welcome to Dolphin Stadium, the new home of the Miami Hurricanes. Today they face North Carolina in an ACC Coastal. And eight players on this true freshman group. They'll play about a handful of them at receiver. We're on a national champion high school team a year ago. They're young, but they're talented. North Carolina, meanwhile, on the up. But how will they replace their starting quarterback who's up with an ankle injury for the next month and a half? Jay Wooden will kick off. We're underway at the new home of the Canes. Dolphin Stadium, Brandon Harris from the 15. Flag down as Harris is taken down at the 23-yard line. Here, but they had four interceptions in a game against Rutgers. Marv setting up and has a completion near the first down marker again. True freshman Aldarius Johnson with a catch. Western High School here in Miami that won consecutive state championships and last year was the USA Today national champion. Greg Cooper into the secondary and into North Carolina territory. Running backs, of course, here over the years, Edron James, Clinton Portis, Frank Gore, Willis McGahee. He's more in the McGahee mold in terms of size as he gets to the 40-yard line, brought down. Cooper picks up the first down and more! Finally dragged down at the 9-yard line by Tremaine Goddard. Already on this drive, Deron Thomas in the game now at tailback on first and goal. Marv with play action. Open man, touchdown! Kane Farkason! Was. It was a one possession game at halftime with Robert Marv making his first ever start as a redshirt. Paulus, a freshman from Syracuse, brother of Greg Paulus, and he's going to hand off for the first down. Greg Little across midfield. And this is not what the coaching staff for North Carolina wanted. They don't want Paulus in third down and long. Throws a strike there, but it was dropped. Dropped at the 41. Look at Paulus and Cameron Sexton, who we'll see today as well in the spring when Yates didn't participate because of off-season shoulder surgery. Here's Benjamin, gets a great block, and Benjamin loose across the 40. Finally bumped out of bounds, but a huge block. A little bit. Here's Cooper. Cuts it back for the Miami first down. Well, we showed you a recipe for ribs. How about a little recipe for some season in Miami since 1997? Play action. Lar finds another freshman, Theron Collier, who had a touchdown catch last week. For, uh, for Randy Shannon in this program. Marv rolling out on second down. And Marv again going to take off. Come up a little bit shot. On is the question. Miami with a third down and three. Inside run and play. Another freshman, a true freshman, Benjamin. And he's got the first down. Look at the push of the pile by the Hurricane. The South Florida area, and he's been able to do that the past two recruiting classes. Marv on third down has an open man. Pass was a little high. Collier got smoked, and he couldn't hang on to it. Off that dirt, you got to get that plant foot in. And he's going to miss this one wide to the right. Weeks though. Third down and 16. Paulus's pass might have been deflected. It was intended for Nick. Travis Benjamin back to receive the punt from Terrence Brown. It's a bad snap. And Brown is down at the 11. That's where Miami will take over. Well, North Carolina kind of third down and nine. Can Carolina come up with a stop again? Here's Cooper on the middle screen to the five. Cooper touchdown. For the touchdown pass. 
Only the third start for Marv. The previous two were at the show signs and then disappoint, although again, a long way from being over. Cameron Sexton in the game at quarterback, flagged down as he finds Zach Pianalto, the backup tight end. That's a team in 2008. A record of two and one. They only lost to Florida as Tate is going to throw. And the pass underneath is caught near the first down marker by Hakeem Nix. But to finish things up on Miami, freshmen and sophomores yep. for Miami. And a lot of true freshmen, including Spence. Here's a good running play that will pick up the first down to the 25-yard line as Ryan Houston. Running game for North Carolina at this point. Need a touchdown. Need something good to happen. Houston. And there's some running room between the tackles yeah. against his hurricane defense. He plows forward to the 20. Brought down by Anthony. It's a total offense so far for the Tar Heels. Play action. Sexton throws on the run, and it's a bullet caught at the six-yard line. Two passing. Greg Little on the run. Buries the head and buries a couple of Miami defenders, and Little gets into the end zone. Touchdown, Touchdown North Carolina. What a run by Greg Little. Without a lid as well. <laughs> Did about half of that with Randy Shannon and Butch Davis. One after good to make it a one possession game. Yeah, and after watching Thursday night, it just reemphasizes the fact that anything can happen in college football these days. Inside handoff on the end around to Travis Benjamin. Got to be close to the first down at the 40. If, if they take care of business against Alabama, either first or second in the, in the country. Oklahoma plays TCU. You would think that USC has got it on this possession. Play action. And Harris, what a smart play there, huh? Dumps it off to another true freshman, Devon Johnson. And he gets the first. Uh, from his days as a player, there's always been someone who has left early. He thinks that that will go down a little bit with the way that he's recruiting. As Harris is tackled about a yard shy of the first down. Now a decision. Well, you have to establish that. And when you're trying to rebuild something, take a look at the field goal here, which is 34 which is yards is good by Bosher. So Randy Shander likes to kick there in fourth down. Yeah, and when you for now with quarterback Cameron Sexton Jr. Who is the number two quarterback coming into today and a nice throw to the 35 pulled in by Richard Qu third down and eight for the Tar Heels Sexton being chased and nearly throws an interception to Marcus Van Dyke with the pass breakup and it's we'll get into that at halftime tailgate week is our favorite week of the year on ESPN Marv to the air, pass caught at the 41-yard line by cutting the clock run down in case they don't pick it up and they're not going to. be short. Short by a yard as Gordon makes the catch. Okay, it's fourth down. And, and the Tar Heels. Yeah, they catch a break there. Should never have fielded that. Here's Little running between the tackles. And well, we've touched on it at the end of the first half. With scholarship seniors, it might surprise you, Nick Saban's Crimson Tide, who we'll see against Georgia tonight on ESPN. First down pickup by Ryan Houston. Here led them to a win in the Orange Bowl, where Miami used to play. First season for the Hurricanes at Dolphin Stadium. Sexton with time. Tate makes the grab. Tate inside the 20. And to the 10-yard line. Is a very high pick in next year's draft. Six career returns for touchdowns. North Carolina with a first down and 10, and it goes to Little, who again steamrolls Miami here. Surprised that they didn't bring the chains out, but fourth down and inches, and they're going to get a touchdown. Ryan Houston not only picks up the first down, but hits Pater. And a chance for North Carolina to cut the lead. 60-yard drive, as you see at the top of your screen. Point after makes it 17-14. Ryan Houston, ACC games. Those were all in the Orange Bowl last year. Marv with play action. Looking deep. Pressure coming, though. And Marv down at the 30. Mark Paschal, the leading tackler. Still a game in which North Carolina led 27-0 at halftime. Marv in trouble. Gets away from a little bit of pressure. Throws into traffic. And almost caught. Sexton, overthrown, he had Pianalto, threw it too high. I'm with the strength coach. Andrew Swayze, the Miami strength coach, Jeff Connors for North Carolina. Mars pass caught, 
across midfield. Collier finally wrapped up a couple of yards shy. A lot. A lot. It, it has been uh, of the utmost importance in today's ball game. Marv has a running lane. Picks up the first down in that boot. Option to throw. Marv, a redshirt freshman. Big third down and six. Cooper on the handoff. And he's down at the 41. He lost yardage there as the two white lines in the back of the end zone. Little able to get out, but just barely. The ball came out. No, it did. Little hung on to it. When Davis left for the Cleveland Browns, Marv on third down and long being chased. And Marv gets rid of it, finds Epps the tight end, and he's got the first down. winning at New England. You see with the Tampa Bay Devil Rays and what they're doing in Major League Baseball. Cooper bursting into the secondary. To the 10-yard line. Picks up about 15 on that play. Who was recruited by, M by Miami. Another good point to pit. Marv able to catch the high snap. Cooper covered out of the backfield. Marv to the end zone and it's caught by Aldarius Johnson. Miami touchdown. And this true freshman class attended Northwestern High School, the state champ, and... And he's got time to throw. Instead, he's going for Nix, and Nix is going to score! Touchdown, North Carolina! Oh, 74 catches. That's his third touchdown this year. The first TD for Cameron Sexton, and after the offense response. Certainly helps to get the ball at the 40-yard line. How about the feet of Cooper? Wow. And then he breaks more tackles. Close to the first down at midfield. Is he a good football player? Here he is again to the second level, getting the first down. Marv going downfield, and it's picked off! Tremaine Goddard with the interception! Back into Miami territory! Goddard still going! And takes a seat at the 43-yard line! It's proven itself true. Every game we've Amazing. had has been close. And a nice grab that time by Foster. Had to adjust to the throw a little bit. Sexton in trouble, and perhaps out of field goal range, sacked by Brandon Harris. And that sack huge because that cost him about seven yards. Yeah, that was against Rutgers earlier in the season, so see if he's got enough leg to tie it up. No good. So my as you said to be played. Big third down and 12 here for Marv and the Miami offense, and they're going to keep it on the ground with Cooper and Carolina not fooled. Tydrick Powell's been getting off block. But great field position for Carolina out of timeout. Sexton has take. It's a first down into Miami territory to the 40. At the 35 instead of at the Miami 20. Play action. Wide open is Tate out in space. Inside the 25, picks up the first downs. Pressure coming. Sexton to the end zone. Touchdown, North Carolina. Brooks Foster gives Carolina the lead. Was Cam Sexton, Cameron Sexton, or Mike Paulus going to be able to get the football to the three playmakers on the outside for North Carolina? No one sitting in this building. Everybody on their feet. Marv going downfield for Farkasen. Caught at the 20. And a timeout with 15 seconds. And then throw it in the middle of the field. Time will run out. Here's Marv. And he's going end zone. Farkasen. Oh, it's picked off. Intercepted by Tremaine Goddard. North Carolina beats Miami 28-24.
Unbelievable play by the senior strong safety, turn ACC play for Miami. And it was this close. Through the hands of Farkasen, Goddard with the pick. North Carolina wins it.